Hey you. Jesus knows your name. He cares for you so much that he died for you. He died for you on Calvary. Don't think of it. Who in their right mind would die for someone they don't even like they don't even like know or so like even your loved one would you even die for somebody that like you really love? Like what if it's your friend, your best friend? Would you die for that person? Well, Jesus did this for you and for me and for everybody in this world. God sent the Son Jesus Christ to die for you and I. And now by the power of his blood that was shed on Calvary, we are now free. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 it says, When anyone is in Christ, it is a whole new world. The old things are gone. Suddenly, everything is new. So, that is just to show you, right? In the world, you may have a lot of trials and so on. Like, you're not really worried about anything, but you're just, um, like, focused on gaining stuff. Like, you're more focused on material stuff and so on. But when you come to Christ Jesus, you get to know the love for Him. You get to know how much you, He loves you and He cares for you so, so much that you will avail yourself to Him. More than you like, you take time for him, you prioritize him, and you will see, you will find to see that the things you that used to do in the past, you no longer like struggle with them or anything. For the person that struggles with anxiety, depression, peer pressure, and those type of stuff that will trouble you in the night, and especially for the females who are like in the world and doing all sort of stuff, things that would like would contradict you and at night you wouldn't get to sleep properly, you would think it's just, oh, it's probably just the um, traditional old time people just coming, but no, no, it's actually spirits that comes to press you down. They are called incubus and succubus, they come in the night, they are sexual spirits, right? So. If you're troubling with these stuff, if you're sick and you don't have nobody to run to, run to Jesus, find a church and go to the church and get delivered. This is the time to start serving Jesus. For the ones that are going through heartbreak, I know a broken heart is very terrible. I've had that once, right? But when you come to Christ Jesus, He renews your heart. Like you, you're open now to love again. Like, like when you get heartbreak sometimes, right? You may see that to yourself, like you can't find yourself loving again, right? You can't find yourself being attracted to people. Sometimes that is the case, right? That is the case. You can't find yourself attracted to people, or you attracted to them. It's like you don't want nobody to love you, or you don't want to be loved. That is sometimes a case that happens when you get a heartbreak, right? But when you come to Christ Jesus, it's a whole new thing, right? It says that it is a whole new world. The old things are gone. Suddenly, everything is new. Like, suddenly you realize that, oh, I don't struggle for masturbation on it anymore. I don't struggle for pornography anymore. And little do you know that is a sin. So that is like hindering you from growing in Christ Jesus. Another thing, when you come to Christ Jesus, He will cause you to grow. You will grow from, you know, like when in, like babies, when they're now given birth to, and they grow from stage to stage, that's how we are in Christ Jesus. You don't stay in one place and get stagnant. You grow. You keep growing and elevating. And you need the Holy Spirit to do that. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot do anything. I testify to that. Without Him, you cannot do anything. And you have to acknowledge Him. You have to accept Christ Jesus for who He is. And He says, come unto me. Come unto me. Doesn't matter who you are, what you've done. If you sell drugs, if you, you do cocaine, if you smoke weed, if you had sex with multiple individuals, you come, come, 
he is welcoming you with open arms. He says, right? He says in Psalms 34, 18, right? He says, the Lord is close to the to those who have suffered disappointment. He saves those who are discouraged. He also says in Psalms 147, 3, He heals their broken hearts and bandage and bandage up their wounds. So you just imagine, it's like, God, Jesus is like your spiritual doctor, like, he could take care of that broken heart, heal you from inside. The physical doctor, the one that you go to the hospital and see, they will bind up your physical body, like, like, put a plastic uh, bandage on your hand, or, like, stitch you up or if you get a cut or anything like that but jesus is a spiritual doctor amen right he he heals you from within he will start from where within where we can't see ourselves sometimes we have hate in our heart for someone and god does that work come just as you are to him that is my encouragement for you today Come just as you are to Jesus. He will heal you. He will redeem you. He will make you a new creation again. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter where you are right now. Come to Jesus. Doesn't matter if you are an atheist, if you serve Buddha, if you serve Krishna, if you serve Allah, if you serve the um, Rastafarian um, people or wherever you serve. Jesus is here to heal you and he is the only one, only true one that could save you because his blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary freed you from all of those things. He freed you from anxiety, he freed you from pornography, he freed you from lust. He freed you from sexual immoralities. He caused you to be pure. He wants you to come to righteousness. He wants you to be pure in your mind, in your body, in everything that you do. All you need to do is pick up your cross and follow Him. Pick up your cross and follow Him. That is my encouragement for you today. Right? I pray that this word stirs your heart and go deep within your heart. In the name of Jesus. And I thank you for watching this video. I know I like that. Have a blessed day. Love you guys.